Well, imagine never having to worry about hurricanes and energy impact. Uh, imagine never having to gas up your car again or recharge your cell phone. An endless supply of energy that does not harm the environment and won't cost you a dime. In fact, it comes from thin air. My next guest says the technology exists. Here to explain how it works is Sean McCarthy. He's CEO of a company called Storn. It's a technology firm based in Ireland. Good to have you, sir. Good evening. Uh, this almost sounds too good to be true. Now, I know you're a genius, but if you can explain it in layman's terms for me. What we've done is, um, about three years ago, we developed a way of constructing magnetic fields so that when you travel around the field, you suffer a net gain of energy. Um, this energy, we have proven over the years, doesn't come from any other source. What that means in terms of a product is, is quite literally that, you know, if we deploy this as, as a replacement for your car engine, you'll never have to put gas into your car. We, we replace a battery in your cell phone. You'll never have to recharge your phone. But where is the energy coming from, Sean? Literally, um, there has never been an identifiable source for the energy. Um, what this technology um, is doing is, is directly contradicting one of the basic laws of physics, the, the principle of the conservation of energy. So what we did last week is to issue a challenge to the world of science to ask them to come and to test it and to let the public know that this tele technology exists. So, and they, they were pressed with what they saw. Uh, there's something about the magnetic... Uh uh, images or, or, or presence that, that, that makes this work, my immediate reaction to that was, is there any hazard, danger, um, cancer-causing type vulnerability here, anything like that? No, I, I mean, anything that has um, electrical energy in it uh, generates a magnetic field. The, the kind of magnetic fields we're looking at here are very low level. Um, and the technology itself is, is shielded, so there is no discernible magnetic field outside of the technology itself. Our key focus at the moment is to um, start a process of very in-depth um, validation from the scientific world, which will start um, later this year, and we expect the results of that to be released um, towards the end of next year. You realize if you're onto something, Sean, you've driven the automobile business out of business and a host of others that I, depend I, on battery and fuel juice. I, I, I don't see it. I think this is an opportunity. I mean, I think that um, one of the key issues that we face um, is our, our polluting energy sources. Uh, this isn't going to put the automotive industry out of business, and quite the opposite. We see this as a huge opportunity um, for, you know, cleaner automobiles, um, for less toxic um, batteries. All right. Um, your private concern right now, you're deliberately not doing this to raise money, just to increase professional recognition by which you can later on get funding, right? Yeah, what, what we've said is, is because claims like this have obviously been made in the past, um, right. we've distinguished ourselves from, from other claimants by first of all saying, during this process we're not going to attempt to commercialize. This, is, this needs to be an honest review from the world of science. Um, we will neither raise money um, nor license the technology until the world of science has fully acknowledged that the, that the results, um, okay. have published the results of their technology and shown this to work. Our, our key focus at this point is, is simply to allow the public to see that this technology is available. We'll look then at commercialization after that. All right, Sean McCarthy, thank you.